Where are you from, sir? I'm from uh, I just speak. Precisely, I come. Precisely, I come. The bars. Another word. Another word. You go young boy. They mazi. Karamka. Yeah, yeah. All the ma. I I from Ghana. Mary, I'm a ma. I'm so happy that Ibu. I hope I'm some certain things he will block or any mirror. What is actually happening? And uh, why can you hear me here? All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, like I told myself, I'm a, a researcher on the renewable energy. So, renewable energy is not the energy that is related to nature. And uh, this is one of my jobs, one of my products. So, and this one is called hydro power plant. Why it is hydro? Because it is the flow rate of the river, of the water, that is empowering the alternative to the market. It's not a very simple technology. So, this is not the solar energy? No, this is not solar. Hydro, hydro because it involves water. The movement of the water. And I'm also seeing a flash. Is it a security light? I'm seeing some flash. So, how do you make up with this? How do you come up with this ideology? Uh, and uh, where do you start? A mother, mother boy, called no I just You saw it in a trance. What happened? I just want to know the build up of all this thing, how the uh, ideology came. Because we cannot try, you can't put it in the middle of the world. Yeah, like uh, what you have seen here, this is the process in Nigeria. And uh, if I can say, even in Africa, uh, people have not personally embarked on the uh, private and related. So, and uh, being a student of uh, electrical. Engineering. I did electrical and electronic engineering in high school. So I made up in power, power and machines technology. So everybody in electrical and that did power and uh, machines, you know that water, going water like this, is an engine of this cell. It's an engine. Uh, when harnessed very well, it can give you a lot of things. You can use it to prepare your machines. You can use it in industry. You can use it to generate electricity. You can even use it for agro, agro irrigation elsewhere. So, this, this is your first experience. Yeah, actually, on, on, on this particular one, this is my first experience. But I've done other things in a, in a renewable energy, other machines. Like I also designed steam, steam that is. Uh, uh, good than to generate electricity. But on this, this is the first. Even though that was my project in the high school, uh, so this is the time now I think to practice. So, uh, again, uh, the other day I saw you with a, a regalia a overall, kind of uh, being written empower. Were you empowered by government or you empowered yourself? Actually, uh, that was about. I'm an instructor. I teach in a school. And what I teach them here yeah, is about this, about power, electrical, electronic. So government gave me that uh, overall. Not that government is in any way supporting what I'm saying. This is mainly my program. Again, I saw you seem that you have workers, uh, apprentices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th those are my trainees. Those mm -hmm. are my training. Uh, those are my training. Yes. So moving forward, how do you want to translate this hydroelectric power plant to power houses, power uh, farm, 
television sets, uh, light bulbs, and other things. And how, where do you need government intervention or assistance to, do you have any plan in furthering this or you're just doing a show? It's your guy again a Guinness Book of Record or nature or a continuum of this. Very well, expert. Thank you for that question. Actually, uh, I initiated this and uh, I'm not doing it because I am hungry. After all, I, I have what I'm doing as an engineer. I'm only doing it to help humanity because power is the problem of Nigeria. So, and Nigeria has not come to a solution of how to rectify their power problem. In spite of the fact that we have engineers, professors on electrical technology, we've not been able to harness what we have to serve mankind. So on that note, what I actually want to do here, I know that the uh, government, it will be very difficult for them to come to partner with us. But what we need at the moment is give us the approval. Like I've made the community of this place to give me the approval so that I can do for partners. Then, on that note, there are a lot of things we have to do here. Like the machine you see here, it's not going to be in this nature. The machine, we are going to use some standard materials that will prolong the lifespan. Like the metals, you know metals are not good in water. No. It is a period of time that they give to rust. So some of them will be changed to aluminium. Some of the friends will be changed to concrete. And you cannot just do that in a, uh, uh, without getting permission, either from the community or from the government. So when we get the approval, the approval first, then the government wants to come in. They don't come in. Anybody that wants to come in can come in. But as far as I know, the people around here are very much interested in what we are doing. So the end point now is to get approval. So if that approval is gotten, so you can do whatever thing you want to do. Because even around here, we also need a powerhouse. We can put on some performance, put on capacitors that will promote and improve the power output. Yeah, uh, Dinadan, uh, on a lighter note, you are from Isha Langwa, and oh, as well, I believe also the governor is from Mbosi. The governor, uh, the little I know, uh, uh, he loves development. He he cherish he he, he have he have said it time without number that he detects Kehana uh, possible in English Ayxavik uh, syndrome. Yeah, he yeah. loves people that can be able to he want to develop Aba and developing Aba. We have a lot to do with ICT and the ICT. Technology. So these are uh, uh, right now. They they will even they worship you because this is a here a, a landslide achievement. So what is your advice or pray or wish uh, a bit of the government to butter into? Because I believe one way or the other, this interview also gets to His Excellency Dr. Alex Shoma Oti OFR, who has the passion to see Abians prosper. So when I did my first video, I said, I use the word, first Nigerians, home-made hydroelectric by an other state born, and also from Ikshia Langwa man. Yeah. So where do you want the government to come in? Yeah, actually, I don't want to go to the governor. The governor is the person that should come to me. Because I can tell you the fact that before his inauguration, a lot of people wrote about what we can do to improve Abia. In one of my scripts, I wrote about power, and I emphasized much on the other side. Governors cannot say he didn't see that script. He saw it. So, you should invite me. Say, why? Man, come. What do you have in store? Forget about all this. You should invite me and say, man. So, I will not do because going to you to look for the governor is as if I don't know what I'm doing. So to tell the people that I know what I'm doing, the government should ask me, come, what do you have is come and upload it. Then I will be able to go. Then whereby they decide not to come, I still have other things. I still have other things. Ah. 
apart from apart from uh, mentioning the, uh, the governor, because the governor also have a limited power within the parameter of the state. Uh, going forward, or moving forward, you you also need federal house of representatives and also the senate representing your area. If actually they know this passion, if actually they know the importance of uh, technology and also power, which is what we are lacking, whether you like it or not, because people are still complaining about power, they complain about the EDC, for the EDC we enter about power, the complaint has been there. So if we have people that can be able to develop all this uh, technology, it will also lessen the, the solely dependent of uh, we or about people, because about people is an uh, economic hub of the South East, and also we love commons. We also uh, we produce a lot, so we can a uh, a raw bigger one that can be able to even power some industries and also equipment. So uh, we also need assistance of the federal house. Your we also need the, the, the your senator or representing your area or anybody who has a passion or who has interest in investing in this is all welcome so that they can be able to tap in this in this uh, uh, technology that is still from people because the car on Kembo. Now, again, somebody asked a question mentioning AVX, that why is the light blinking, the word blinking, blinking. So I wanted you to maybe... Uh, yes. Yeah, actually, why the light is blinking? It's just the panel light. The panel light indicating that there is power in the system. Do you understand? Yeah. You have designed that light to be like that. Then, coming to the question you asked me, you see, this thing, everybody needs power. Like I have to emphasize, emphasize on that again. We have government institutions. My plan is maybe when this thing works, you start with government institutions. Like a teaching hospital about here. I have a great passion for them. Because uh, during the COVID, when I designed a, a machine, I designed a pedal food pedal machine during the COVID. They really patronized me. You understand? In fact, the, the, the chief medical director there gave me a lot of attention and even prayed for me, and that worked. So, because of that, I have a teaching hospital about here in mind. Uh, one day, I will generate light and give them free. South teaching hospital about free. Yeah. So, but what is involved in it is people are coming, asking on individual basis, we want you to come and connect to my house, come and do this. No, it's not done like that. So, this is a, a community based technology. You understand? A community based technology because the water belongs to everybody. So, the dividend of the water should also go to everybody. You understand? So, in that case, it should be a community effort. They should work as a team, come together, then I give them a very big machine that will generate electricity for them. That's a nice one. So, uh, at least we are, you have really, really digest so many of our questions. Yes. All the, this, uh, uh, this very powerhouse or hydro hydro power plant the how sure are you about the mountain i won't give me so more if you feel free okay that's what i'm telling you now so i need a, a more solid foundation and i cannot do it without getting the approval of the of the community here you understand so like the frame the standard frame should not be iron it should be solid Concrete, concrete base, you understand? That will stand the test of time. You understand? Uh -huh. So a lot of materials, like the iron, doesn't have uh, uh, the, the, the duration is very short. So we need, what I'm saying, we need, also need to put the longevity into consideration. So this I cannot do them at the moment because I am not the owner of the river, and a lot of questions are coming. Where did you get the permission? This and that. I asked them to have patience with me until after what I'm doing. So you have, from the beginning of, of the experiment, 
come to the end, you have concluded and see that it works. That's a good one. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. My people, you just listen to the Ogapata uh, Bata engineer Dan, uh, who have explained to an extent on uh, his the procedure and uh, the requirement and also his passion to develop something like this, which he has been practicing over the years. And uh, he is not also a learner in this very field. So I just want to draw more closer to see. Uh, Waiting and waiting, I'm not more. When we pass my neighbor, the one in the neighborhood, in York, we also have no hydro, hydro electric. So okay, here are the 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 birthing process. Okay, here we do that on. So as you can see, this is also one of the students who is also learning. Okay. So now second back, I'm garu garu. I saw so many things, technology at its peak, and the, the way he structured it, as long as the river moves, as long as a million or so, so organized on here, meaning that also for all the cost of uh, 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 using diesel or petroleum uh, uh, PMS, premium motor spirit to power the engine because this one is also an engine on its own. So the revolving process, don't know how revolve, you see. Okay. I seen the revolve, now so light, the commodes. That is why all the thing, this indicator lighting here, indicating that uh, something, power has changed hands. Something is happening. And that is why we are here today. It's Thursday, the 28th of December. 2023, and we are reporting now. Even about you can see the beauty of reality. This is the Opulumogo uh, bridge. I love the design, I love the way they, they built it. You can see the flowing. So, again, uh, from what the engineer also tell us, once so a ship to this very equipment. Who was a media can have on its own directly without any MS fans? Maybe towards this place, the speed, the acceleration will also increase. And once so many increase, thereby you only have more bigger force, more bigger turning, and also more fuel light. The minimum of force will, how many force will, what is your location? <laughs> So I have like a very, very, very matter. Look at the engine room. Uh, the as you can see, you can also see his contact. He's not a learner, my boy. So you can also reach out to him if your community needs something like hydroelectric. And not only this, he has so many things. Uh, very soon I will be visiting his office, his main office, so that I can also show the world so many, some of his equipment and some of the things that he has uh, done so far, uh, which he also tell us today that during COVID, he also uh, did some construction for absolute other state teaching hospital. Uh, so this is a cable cable TV, and we are here in our bar to also show you the ingenuity of an average Obamaan in terms of bringing the bags, in terms of surviving without even government uh, sponsorship, without even backup. But he think over it and uh, was able to deliver what you are seeing here, what we are all celebrating here today. This is Kebu Kebu TV and uh, stay tuned on this time. We will always be bringing you the direct information, factual verifiable information on the MIC. Thank you for sticking around. And soon, we'll be looking forward for more news of concerning Aba and their diehard ingenuity in challenging ICT and also technology base. Thank you for watching Cable Cable TV. I love you all.